fight against the coronavirus. The Galveston County Health District is asking residents to mask up once again. Officials say this is all part of an effort to protect the community as COVID cases have surged. Resident Aragon Life tonight in the Texas Medical Center with what doctors are saying about the new wave of infections. Roseanne? We are here at the Houston Health Department where doctors here and the Baylor College of Medicine staff say the number speaks volumes when it comes to the amount of virus that's circulating in the community right now. And they say it's important to protect yourself. COVID rates skyrocketing in Houston. We are in the midst of the worst surge of COVID-19 that we have seen since the beginning of the pandemic in terms of number of infected people out in the community. While many cases may be mild, chances are... You know somebody, probably three or four or five people that have gotten COVID-19 recently. There's a lot of infection in the community. Wastewater numbers are way up. Harris County is surpassing more than a million cases still in July. The Houston Health Department is reporting the viral load in Houston's wastewater is more than 700% higher than the last peak in July of 2020. As the wastewater changes, about a week or two later, the positivity rate will change. And then about a week or two after that, hospitalizations will change. The CDC now warning the new Omicron BA5 and 4 variants are taking center stage, infecting even the fully vaccinated. They're not getting nearly as sick as those who are unvaccinated or those who are never sick before, but you are still able to become infected because BA4 and BA5 are sufficiently different from the immunity that you have. Now the CDC is asking manufacturers to target those variants in their next boosters. Another interesting observation, Dr. Peirce says it's actually the wastewater data that's been the most accurate and consistent in predicting what happens with this virus. Reporting live from the Houston Health Department, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.